Hello everybody, welcome back guys to ESO Model. So today's video guys is gonna walk you through the assembly of installing an e-bike. The model is called Storm. Okay, now the first step, let's unbox this model. Use the scissors to cut the strips. And when you cut the strips, be careful not to hurt yourself. Okay, so everybody, uh, we have already opened the bike. So let me take you through the path of the bike so that you get to know them. So here I'm going to start with this little one. This is the fender. This is the front tire. This is a headlight. And this is the two kits. And here we've got the saddle. And this is the whole bike. So right now we're about to go and put all the pieces together. So come over. Okay, so everybody, if you, if you have seen, like, we've put our bike outside and we have removed all the white protection, remember to put it aside. It's also use, useful for, for recycle. So right now, we have to put in the handles first. Okay, so right now, as we are installing the handles, guys, you have to take your toolkit and then we're going to look uh, for an allen kit that is, like, for the same size with this one, we get a test. This one is a bit small. Yeah, this one. So you're going to have to screw this one out. And don't throw them away. You will need them. They are still useful to us. You don't have to throw them away. As you remove one, you got to keep them safe. Okay, I'm trying as fast as possible. Okay, two. Okay, you can see they're here. Okay, if you are putting the, the, the handles, you have to check this part. It has to be exactly aligned with this part. So you have to be careful with that. Okay, right in here. And you tag the upper part. You make sure it's in the same piece with this one. Now you have to put back the nut. And you have to tighten like really, really tight. Make sure it's really tight for your safety. Okay, until you can't move anymore, then you stop. But so guys, I have finished installing the handlebars. So as you can see, you have to straighten your handlebars and make sure they align with the bike. You can actually use the feeling. If you feel like it's balanced and it's in align with the bike, then you've got it at the right place. Okay. Okay, so guys, now our bike is turned upside down. Now it's time to install the front wheel. So if you take a closer look here, you see there is a bolt here. So guys, as I was saying, like this part, you see there is this bolt here. It's not really necessary. It was just put in just to protect the fork. So you can actually use your hands to loosen it up. Then you remove it. This one is not really necessary. So you're going to go to your toolbox, look for another one. It's going to be right here. This is what we are looking for. Okay. So we're going to use this one. This is the one that we're looking for. Okay. Put it here for the time being. Take your front wheel. Okay, so on this board, guys, you can see this one is a bit longer and the other one is a bit shorter. So you don't put it anyhow. So the longer one is gonna come the other side. The shorter one has to come where there is this disc. But at first, you have to remove all of them. You have to remove all of them. Don't throw them away after you remove them. You gotta keep them safe because we need them. Okay, this is the set of the shorter one, this is the set of the longer one. Okay, and then we're gonna insert this one through. Okay, so guys, as you can see, those ones, we have the longer one and the shorter one. So the shorter one is gonna come to this side where there is the disc. Don't make a mistake. And then the longer one has to come to the other side. Okay. okay, so now we have put uh, the, the, the nuts from the both side. Now we have to put the wheel on top and insert it. Okay, so now we have to insert the wheel. So as you are inserting, you come from the top and make sure this disc is going to be 
a, a line you shouldn't be inside there's a thing that you have to put it inside here so you have to be careful with that as well okay you have to make sure this disc has to be inserted inside here as you are putting your wheel now we have to put these two nuts in so you gotta put this one first and make sure it goes here and the last one you're gonna use your hand so as you're putting this the last one you also use the same way to do the other side you also insert the same way okay so guys after finishing putting the front wheel we put our our bike to the right position so right now we're gonna do the siru so the siru guys it has three bolts that's one two and three okay so so the three nuts that you're seeing here one two three they match from one two three that's one where you have to put them so you have to remove the three of them completely so, okay So when you are done now you have to insert these knots from bottom you have to insert from the bottom part so you gotta make sure it's in line first okay like here yeah, yeah then you screw it inside okay so everybody now we're done with the circle this is how it will be looking like it shouldn't be shaking after you are done make sure it's uh, screwed in very tight so now we have to put in the lights okay so guys if you're with me when we started i said this box is the one that has the headlight so the headlight is actually inside so there is the headlight and it also has two screws inside so let's get the two screws inside okay it also has these two screws inside so now we have to install our headlight okay so when we are inserting the headlight you have to look at these the red thing if you take a closer look inside there are two pins and the red head so you have to make sure they are matching each other the two pins have to be bottom here and the red head has to be on top the triangle the triangular form okay and then you have to press Okay, so as you are inserting the bottom where we have the two screws here, you can see there are two spaces here and they have to be right here. You have to match them, make sure they are in line. So you insert like this and you take your screws, you use your hand. And you can also do the same way to the other side. Okay fam, so we are done. You can see that our screws are all in and the light is now all set. This is how you should be looking like when you are done okay fam so finally now we are going to introduce the pedal so on the pedals you have to make sure you put the left side on the left the right side on the right so how are we supposed to know the bike this one is the left you have to be standing like this your bike is like this and you are also facing like this so this is your right side and this is your left side and the pedals they're actually marked for you to see which one is the left and which one is the right okay guys so I was, as i was saying on our pedals they're actually written which one is the left and which one is the right so the l resembles left and the r resembles right so right now we have to insert our pedals okay guys so i'm gonna insert the right one so when you're inserting you don't move the pedal you just move this part inside so after i put it then i'm gonna move the inside part until i'm sure that it's tight or until you feel like it can't move anymore and it's very very tight it's intact just in case when you are riding it doesn't come off okay guys so i'm done inserting the pedals so the same way i inserted the right pedal is the same way you have to insert the left side so once you are done the bike is like this you're gonna check on your left side there is a battery there and on the battery there is a switch you have to switch it on after you switch it on on your hand brakes you will see there is three buttons and you have to long press the m button to switch on your battery okay so on your hand brakes guys you see there are three buttons you have to long press the m and you have to switch it on it will switch your display after long pressing m like this and you want to switch it off you long press m again to switch it off okay guys so after everything that we have done we are complete 
uh, with installing the bike. So after everything guys, the accessories are in place, you are done with the uh, installation of the bike. Now you can enjoy your ride.